So the first of the chase qualifiers next in. A very small field for this one. The top one is The Assassin for Joshua Sutherland. Ekleel Tech for James Shea. Papillon Putin for Alex Cherry. Liver Farlou for James Shea. Merchants Hill for Graham Clutterbuck. Eleanor Rigby for Martin Leedham. Al Asada Shine for Ryan Costello. And Zulu Queen. Alex Cherry. So just eight in it then. Called in. And away they go. The rain has stopped. Alex Cherry's got two. As they get to the first, which they're all safely over, Alex Cherry likes to put some runners in these SO7 qualifiers, and so do I. The one horse in this, Eleanor Rigby, actually won this race last year, and we're hoping to get through to the final again. So Papillon Putin is in the lead with the sheepskin noseband. I don't see many of those in the SO League. Pretty tightly grouped as they make their way towards the second of the 14 fences, and we get a good close up shot of them as they get over that one. And the one that didn't jump in at all well was Eklil Tech, and in fact, he jumped it so badly he shuffled all the way back to last place. So it's Papillon Putin over the third, and that time it was Eleanor Rigby down on her nose, so that doesn't bear well for last season's winner. As they get to the fourth, and they're all a bit better over that one, but Papillon Putin is in the lead from the Assassin in second as they make their way out for their one complete circuit of the track. And as they pass the post for this first time, it's Papillon Putin in the lead. The Assassin is second, and Zulu Queen is third. Merchant Hill is four, and Liver Farlow is five. Al Sada Shine is six, and then Eleanor Rugby seven. And finally, Ek Leal Tech is just the back marker. They come to the water. Which they will take nicely. And they will seem to be travelling well again now after those early mistakes. And Alex Cherry's got a 1 2 at the moment with Papillon Putin and Zulu Queen. Good jump on the outside there by Merchant Hill. And also, the Assassin is going quite well over the fences as well as they get to this ditch, which they're all over again. A bit slow at the back out, a little tick. But it's still. Papillon Putin in the lead. To the Assassin second. And Zulu Queen third. The Emergence Hill and Lua Farlu. Eleanor Rigby and Al Sada Shine. And then finally, Ick Leal Tech as they get to the next one. The leader stood off that one. Got away with it. And the lead is down to a length. The Assassin is in second. As they get to this next one, he jumped it much better that time, the leader. All that jumped it really well was Eleanor Rigby, who's jumped up into fourth. But it's Papillon Putin who's still the leader. To the final six furlongs as they go. The Assassin being driven along as they take that ditch. So they're all safely over and Papillon Putin still in the lead. The Assassin is second. Zulu Quinn is third. Eleanor Rigby is next. Then Merchant Hill. And Liver Farlu and Ek Lil Tech and Al Sada Shine as they get over the 11th. And that time it was the it was um, the second of the Alex Cherry horses, Zulu Queen, that made the mistake. But Papin on Putin in the lead. Here comes last year's winner, Eleanor Rigby, trying to throw down a big challenge then on the outside. Zulu Queen's trying to get back in it. Then the top weight, the Assassin, Merchants Hills after that one. Gap to Liver Farlu and Elk Hill Tech. But Papillon Putin's been in the lead all the way. But now being impressed by Eleanor Rigby in second. Then Zulu Queen, the Assassin, Emergence Hill. Surely it's between these as they come down to the third last. And over that one, Eleanor Rigby jumped it better. Eleanor Rigby jumped it one, gets away from it one, goes a length clear. Papillon Putin is trying to fight back. So to is Zulu Queen. Two more to take this the second last. Eleanor Rigby gets over it nicely. Zulu Queen is in second, Papillon Putin is now beaten, one more to take, and Eleanor Rigby gets over it, gets away from it well, here comes the Assassin, there's a big weight difference between the two, but Eleanor Rigby is clear, and it looks like Eleanor Rigby is going to take this start as all the 6th qualifier for the second season on the track, indeed she does, Eleanor Rigby wins it, the Assassin second, Merchant Hill third, Papillon Putin was fourth, and Eleanor Rigby, horses for courses, so they say, don't they, so, won this particular trial, at Kempton on week two last week and does the same this season. So that's one for the commentators. I think that's my first winner of the season under any code. It's been the worst start I've ever had. So maybe that's the 
tide turn in for me there then. So Eleanor Rigby takes it for Martin Lynn on the Assassin for Joshua Sutherland was second. Give it away to Stone Mod. Merchants Hill for Graham Clutterbuck was third. Papillon Putin for Alex Cherry was fourth. And Liver Farloo for James Shea was fifth. <laughs> 